I'm Sister Mary Raphael with the Daughters of the Virgin Mother, and this is our series Core at Core, in which I will be interviewing our future seminarians, those who have applied to St. Joseph Seminary. Today I have Matthew Harrison. Matthew, why don't we begin by you telling me a little about yourself? Um, so I'm, I'm 18. Um, I go to uh, Christ the King Catholic High School, and I go to Sacred Heart Catholic Parish. I didn't, I started through high school, um, homeschool. So I was homeschooled up through eighth grade and um, went to public school for one year. Well, it was a charter school, but I just call it public school. Um, and then went back to homeschool for a semester and then went to Christ the King, like sophomore, second semester. When did you start discerning the priesthood? Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of always been like on my mind ever since. I mean, I, my family is just extremely religious. My mom, well, as we were homeschooled, we used to live right beside um, St. James in Concord. And so every single morning we would go to church. And <clears throat> so that's just kind of always been open to me. And I've always been um, open to that possibility. And then probably I guess the end of my junior year, I actually like realized, okay, I'm graduating. Like next year, I need to, <clears throat> I need to think about this. Um, then I talked to Father Calvin and stuff like that. And then I actually got really serious. And I was going to Colvadis, and um, I was really um, getting to know the priests and stuff. And um, that's probably how I. But going back to Father. Um, I got in touch with Father Gober and then actually um, started the process, but it's just kind of like an ongoing. Through like, prayer yeah. and discernment and talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my whole life. But uh, How do you feel in versus in years past we've been sending our guys out of state for seminary? Uh -huh. What does it feel like knowing that this is in our it's, home diocese? I know, it's awesome. I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. Um, it's gonna be awesome. It's it's gonna. I'm really excited to just have a really close group of guys, and we've been hanging out. Like I told you earlier, we've been hanging out, like going on camping trips and like going hiking and stuff like that. Um, so we really, I'm really starting to get to know, and um, <clears throat> we're all getting to know each other really well. And so, especially with it being in the diocese and that close relationship with each other, transferring into being ordained, and then we're like best friends spread across the Whole entire state and we can work together so well um i think it's just it's just gonna be really really awesome um and then also the for the diocese just knowing us and sending us and being able to direct their prayers not to just kind of the guys being sent up to not saying that that's bad or right, anything right. but um um they can all focus just on the seminary the saint joseph seminary and um <clears throat> focus all their prayers and know that it's really close to us. Um, then also for guys that are discerning, I think it's going to be really awesome because we have Kovadis here, but there's no seminary on campus. And like, we don't have seminary. We don't always have like a bunch of seminarians that can come down um, <clears throat> or be in the area. But um, I think it's going to, I think it's going to be awesome because all the guys who at Kovadis now it's going to be at a seminary instead of at the college. Right. So I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be super awesome. And with this endeavor, of course, we have the priests and the seminarians and sisters praying. Um, what about the laity? How do you think this is going to bring our whole diocese closer together in prayer and support? I think I just I think in general it's just going to be awesome. Um, <clears throat> I think that the laity will see these guys that they've known growing up, <clears throat> the altar servers that they know. Um, however, you know, at St. Anne's, you have good, a really good group of altar servers at Sacred Heart, um, St. Thomas Aquinas, all these guys who are really um, into this, <clears throat> into serving and seeing them and sending them off to seminary and actually seeing them change and become um, like smart guys and then eventually become priests I think that the laity will really be inspired by that and see okay these the priests aren't just being sent up 
to the north and then coming back totally different people. They actually get to see us change. And especially with the seminarians coming and <clears throat> being able to go to different churches like throughout the, um, throughout the week or going to different churches like on a Sunday, we go to St. Mark and everybody hang out at St. Mark and the, the whole church really know us. <clears throat> I think that would, that's really going to be, that's really going to be inspirational for everybody um, and all the people in that church. So I think it's going to possibly affect, possibly, positively. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, okay, so you also are basically, God willing, if you're accepted, the first year of seminarians, so a lot yeah. of what happens yeah. this year is setting the foundation mm -hmm. for the future. Just even fun things like what's the house going to look like on the inside? What kind of hopes do you have for meal planning and gardening? Okay. And you said you were a gardener? Um, yeah, well, my family, we have a garden in the back. And so when we also have like chickens, pigs, um, a goat. And we used to have ducks. Yeah, yeah, I like goats. It's like <laughs> it's fun to like, like, play with them and stuff. They're really playful. And so, um, but I think just I think it's gonna be really fun to have um, a garden in the back. I don't know. Um, cook our own food and stuff like that. I want to have kind of like how we talked earlier. I want to have like chili and like beef stew and the good stuff um i don't know We're raising strong boys yeah yeah um, <laughs> strong men yeah and speaking of that i think i was talking with some of the other guys because we've been like working out like who's bringing what you know we don't want to just like <laughs> oh walk in and not so like one guy we're thinking of bringing like a pool table okay and, like, yeah we don't want to just walk into this not knowing and so and also maybe like some a gym or something, you know, like have some exercise equipment, some dumbbells okay. and stuff. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't remember what the question was. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> All right, we'll just keep talking. Um, we're creating a seminary. Uh, what do okay. we want to create? I say a huge uh, library. Yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah. <laughs> I love reading. Um, so that would be a plus. And you said most of the guys play instruments. Yeah, yeah, most of the guys play instruments. So Some well, there's at St. Anne's. There's a um, the place we'll be staying for a year. Um, there's a place like in the back. Like, well, you lived there for a year, so you <laughs> would probably know. Like, there's a room in the back, I guess, that we're planning on like having like a jam corner. So we'll have like um, have like a bunch of guitars and. I don't know how many guys play guitars, so we'll have a bunch of guitars back there, and like a piano, banjo, um, ukulele, violin. Some guys probably play harmonica. I don't know, <laughs> um, but we can we can put on some concerts and stuff. I don't know. Um, Do some fundraising. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe another corner is gonna have the pool table, and then another corner is gonna have like the workout stuff. You know, just like the bench, and maybe just stuff so we can you know make use of the beef stew that we're eating. Yeah, I don't want to go that to waste. And then, um, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know what the other corner is. I think there's four corners. Is it a, is it a triangle room? <laughs> four corners Is it a room. square? Okay, I haven't been in the room, so. <clears throat> um, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, I don't know what the last corner is going to be. <laughs> well, know that we'll be praying for you All right. throughout this whole process. Thank you, yeah. So...